In 1850, Britain was the workshop of the world, invented things, had machinery, and manufacturing is really important. As time moves on, manufacturing can be done elsewhere and sometimes cheaper. We have lost one million jobs. What we saw in the 80s under Thatcher was that a million male manual workers in the North who were union members lost their jobs and essentially really never went back to work. The problem with the decline in, in manufacturing and the decline in coal is that people are all located together. So this has a big effect on the community. So think coal mine closes, everybody in the town is out of work. For every house that's lived in, there are two that are boarded up. The young people say would leave Wakefield, they'd go to university at the University of Bradford, and in the past they'd have come back. But they don't come back, they go to London. And what that's meant is the number of people employed in manufacturing and the proportion have fallen, more have gone to services. And what we're seeing right now is manufacturing output is really struggling and the move to financial services has meant increasingly that there's a split between North and South. The government really has done not very much to, to try and deal with that regional divide. For there to be some hope down the road, you'd want to hear from um, prime ministers and politicians. What are you going to do for the left behind to replace what is gone and rhetoric won't do it?